I mean, it was obviously quite an up and down match. Um, you know, I started very well. It was also the conditions changed a lot during the match too. It was extremely windy at the start, then it was very calm at the end. Um, but yeah, I mean, Gil was uh, dominating the match, going into the the fifth set and had all of the momentum with him, and just shows you, you know, how quickly in in sport things can can change. And you know, I was, I mean, I was incredibly happy to get off the court the the way that I did because I was expecting to have to come back and finish tomorrow. You've got Rafa next, obviously. So how much confidence do you take into that match, given what how you played against him in Rome and, and knowing that he is fallible? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I've learned some stuff from that match, that's for sure. Um, but I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm aware that it's, it's, it's going to be an extremely tough match. It's going to be very hard physically and mentally, um, you know, if I want to come through that. So I'll need to, to rest up, recover and get myself mentally uh, prepared to to play as best as I can. Do you think this is your best chance to beat him on a court on his favourite surface when when he hasn't maybe dominated the clay court season as he has before? Um, I think he's played well at this, at this tournament and that's what I, I kind of expected. Um, you know, he, he's had a great win against Ferrer, uh, who's, who's been playing very well himself. And he loves, uh, he loves that centre court. You know, it's a great court for him. And, um, you know, I, I think I have a chance, but I'm going to have to play great tennis if I want to win.